Karl Kopp. This is a applied mathematics uh, from Northeastern State University in summer 2017. Make sure you're in the right video. Right, you're watching the right video. Now, this is an online class. That means we don't uh, get to see each other in classroom. Now, you get to see me in those videos, in these videos, but I normally don't get to see you unless you decide to show up in my office hour. Again, that is online. Okay, and uh, believe me, I've tried to take this video for like uh, six times, and uh, none of these are perfect, so I decided to just uh, let it go. So uh, we're gonna just pretend you're in the actual classroom. You have a real person standing in front of you talking. So that person may make a lot of mistakes and something, but it's a real person, so uh, it's not perfect, okay? Now, in, the first, in this first video, okay, we're not gonna talk about any class materials, uh, but we're gonna focus on how this class work, okay? Uh, now, I already uploaded a syllabus of this class to Blackboard, uh, but uh, I want to spend some time to explain to you face, I mean, uh, through this video so you understand better, okay? Uh, in this uh, video, we're going to focus on four things, okay? We're going to talk about the three main tools for this online class. That is Blackboard, uh, My Math Lab, and finally uh, Zoom, okay? It's a uh, uh, online uh, conferencing uh, software. Okay. Now this video actually is taken uh, by through Zoom. It's a very convenient uh, tool to use. Okay. Now finally, the first thing is uh, I want to talk about a little bit uh, the the broad picture of mathematics itself before we go into details. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's uh, get started. Okay. Firstly, uh, this is the textbook that we use. Okay. It's called uh, Using and Understanding Mathematics. Uh, sixth edition. Now you may not have a paper copy, and don't worry about it. Uh, there is a online, I mean, ebook e e version of this book in your uh, my math lab uh, account. Okay, in, in this in this class. Okay, but if some of you prefer, you can uh, purchase a paper copy and read it. Okay, some of you you prefer paper book like me. You you can feel free to buy one, and but we don't have to have one in this class. Okay. Let me introduce myself first. Uh, this is my name, okay? Uh, first name Ray, last name John. I'm a uh, professor of, uh, in physics at NSU, okay? Now this is my first uh, math class to teach, I mean, actually at NSU. Before that, I taught a lot of physics classes, uh, but as you, some of you probably understand, physics essentially in some sense can be considered as applied mathematics. So. Uh, I definitely, I mean, this class seems like a, it's called Applied Mathematics, so I feel very confident I can teach as well uh, because I've taught a bunch of business classes. Okay, now uh, to help you uh, know me a little better, let me pull out the screen. Okay, see, uh, this is my name. Okay, uh, see this, per, the first name pronounced kind of like Ray, and the last name pronounced actually kind of like John, okay? Now, if some of you pronounce this as Zhang, uh, I wouldn't mind, okay? It's, it's not that di uh, different, and a lot of people, I, I got people pronounce this like Zhang all the time, so uh, either is fine, but the actual pronunciation is actually John, okay? In, in Chinese, it reads like, a, No, like this, okay. Certainly you don't need to know this at all, okay. Now, originally I'm from China. Uh, so I came to uh, US in 2000 and I started teaching at NSU from 2009, okay. So I've been here like for eight years, yeah. Okay, let's uh, start to talk about the, the first thing. Okay? Uh, what is the first thing, remember? Uh, Blackboard, okay, we're gonna talk about Blackboard, okay. Now, uh, Blackboard, uh, how do you get access to Blackboard, okay? Uh, pull out a, uh, okay, let, let's again share screen, okay. Okay, pull out a web browser, okay. Uh, like, start from typing 
bb dot nsuok dot edu. Okay, bb is uh, short for Blackboard. Okay, now recently we changed our Blackboard uh, version, so it's a new place to go. If you have taken NSU classes before, you notice that this is a different uh, web page, so everything's new. Okay, now you just you can sign in here, use your user ID and password. After that, you I mean it's kind of it's very similar to the uh, previous Blackboard uh, web uh, we have. It's just a little bit different. Okay. So uh, it's still loading. So let's uh, wait a little bit. Okay. Now, as you see here, right? If you click on courses, you see all the courses you have. Now, uh, certainly you have a different screen than I have. This is just my courses. So I'm, this is the one that I wait for for this. If you click on this class, my uh, apply mathematics. You you're gonna be bring to this uh, brought to this uh, uh, class page. Okay. Now, all these items are on the menu are useful, and the, for mostly for us, three uh, items are the most useful one. Firstly, uh, announcement. So sometimes I'm gonna make announcement to the class. Uh, I'll uh, when I make the announcement, I'll send it to everybody in the class through email, so you should be able to get an email. But uh, in case you don't, you can come back here every uh, week or so to check a little bit, see whether there's new announcement going on here. Now, right now, there's nothing here, okay? Now, the, uh, the second important item here is syllabus and information. I'm gonna put all the information that uh, we need for this class that's not on the My Math Lab Onto under this, okay? Because all the assignment, and everything is going to be taken care of by my math lab, okay? which is the second we're going to talk about. Okay? So uh, you know uh, we don't do any assignment here. So so I, as for right now, I have this syllabus already uploaded as a PDF file, and you can also see that there's a course I provided course ID. That's the my math lab course ID. You need that ID to get into our uh, class on um, my math lab okay now finally the third thing important here is uh, if you put down there's one called uh class tool course, course tools okay uh there's a bunch of them the one that's important for us is this one pearson my lab and mastering okay? if you click on that it's going to lead to you uh lead you to the Pearson. Okay, see there are Benjamin, but this is the one that we, we are, if you click on this, it brings you to uh, My Math Lab, okay? The, the course poem for My Math Lab, okay? Now, uh, you, if you want to, you don't have to go through Blackboard to go to My Math Lab, okay? You can go directly to My Math Lab. But what I heard from people, uh, from other instructors, uh, uh, was that uh, it's a more convenient to uh, uh to go from here uh to the my math lab okay uh i'm not sure that there's actual difference between these two different approaches uh but i would just go for me i would just go uh from blackboard from here okay okay so this is three things about uh the blackboard okay that you need to know now certainly we all, you also need to uh, you can see the grade here but uh uh Probably the easy way to see the grade is uh, to go to my math lab. Okay, there's a grade center there in my math lab. You can see everything from there as well. Okay, so okay, let's talk about the syllabus of this class. Let's start from sharing the screen. Okay, uh, on Blackboard, you click on syllabus and information. You get this page, and uh, this is the syllabus up to date. Uh, you open it, uh, the, let me, I mean, I suggest you to download this file and save it on your computer for future reference. Uh, let me just, uh, and you need to read it carefully, line by line. Let me just uh, uh, bring some important points here. The first uh, part, okay, this is my information here, is the main tool of this, uh, for the communication of this class is email. So this is my email address. I res normally your email is gonna be response in uh, 24 hours in on weekdays and 48 hours on weekends or holidays. In practice, it could be faster than that. Here, I'm just giving you a the worst in scenario. Now, I also have three office hours, uh, 
Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday morning. Uh, in those office hours, I'm gonna hold a online uh, video conference through Zoom, and I'm also gonna be available online. We're gonna talk about Zoom later. Uh, I'm gonna also be available immediately uh, online through email, okay? Now read this course delivery mode, uh, course prerequisites, category description, course purpose, instruction method. Okay, let's talk a little bit about learning outcome assessment method. This course is actually uh, graded by my math lab automatically with a weighted average. So uh, the total is 100%, the homework was 14%, quiz 28%, and exam is 58%. So we'll have 28 homework uh, and then uh, 28 quiz. Each one of them is for one section in the chapter. Okay, so we're totally gonna go through 28 sections. So we have those 28. And uh, for the exam, we have three midterms after each part. So each part have a uh, three to two uh, chapters. So we cover totally eight chapters. And uh, so we're gonna have three midterms for those three chap parts. And then finally, we have a final exam, which is comprehensive. There's also a bonus point of 9% uh, given for answering questions of the online videos I provided like this one. After this one, there's a, there are gonna be eight of them. So each one you, you do by answering, you watch the video, you answer questions, you got 1% uh, bonus point, okay? Sounds a good deal, right? Uh, the instructional material, we already talked about the textbook, and then we'll, we, you, we need math, my math lab, which we're gonna talk, talk about after we finish uh, talking about Blackboard. And then I strongly recommend you guys have to get a calculator with minimal sense functionality, such as exponential logarithm and trigonometrical functions. Uh, uh, I, you can use a smartphone calculator, but those calculators normally do not work as smoothly as a real cal dedicated calculator and you could only spend like $20 or so to get a pretty decent calculator, okay? Uh, about the class and instructor policies, uh, this is, you need to read it carefully. We will talk about it in detail later. For now, I just wanna point out, there are basically four components for this uh, class that you do. Firstly, you need to study lectures. Secondly, do homework. And then thirdly, take quiz. Finally, take exams. Uh, the difference between homework, quiz, and exams are these, okay? In, in case of homework, you have to, you have unlimited time to, to do it. You can try it unlimited times you want to, basically just to uh, make progress and uh, try, try things out uh, for each section you learn. Now the quiz is very similar to homework, except that uh, you can only try it once. You still have unlimited time. You can do it if you want. You can use one hour, two hours, three hours, but it has to be just in one attempt, okay? You can only do it one attempt. And uh, you, you must achieve 90% on the corresponding homework for the section in order to do the quiz in that section, okay? So that is a, like a prerequisite for the quiz to be taken. The, qu the goal of quiz is to check your understanding about the current section, okay? Now for the exam, after about three or two chapters, we will have an exam covering this, the, the materials in the chapter. You have to finish all quizzes in all the sections in the part in order to take the exam, okay? Now you can only take them once with 90 minutes. So the time is limited here, okay? There's only one attempt. Again, one attempt, okay? You get whatever you get out of the one attempt. You cannot do it twice, okay? Now, uh, for the final exam, you have to take three exams before that in order to take the final. And for the final, again, it's one attempt with 120 minutes uh, time you can have. Okay, uh, let's talk about a little bit of the class calendar. Uh, as I explained, uh, th this class basically cover ten, uh, eight chapters. So it goes like part one, part two, and part three, okay? Now each chapter, uh, it takes about a week to finish. And uh, we go from chapter two to four, uh, it covers this part, and then chapter five to seven, and finally chapter 10 to one, okay? Now, let me explain the third column a little bit, okay? 
So okay, those, those numbers here and, and letters are the uh, st uh, sections we cover in each chapter. We do not some chapters we do not cover all sections, only uh, a few of them. So uh, keep that in mind. Okay. Now let me explain the third column: assignment availability. Okay. Uh, this is just telling you when you're going to see those on your my math lab. For example, uh, we start from chapter two, so you're going to see those homework and quiz start from uh, the first day of the first week, which is uh, June 5th. Now for the chapter three, we actually make it available as well as at the same time as chapter two. This just to give some of you guys that go a little further, faster, a chance to study, study further materials, okay? Now chapter four is available and on Monday, second week, okay? And then you, you have two days to, uh, two weeks to finish it, okay? Now for the exam, it is available only in the last week of the three week period, okay? Now, again, after those, those deadlines, you, those homework and quiz and exam are gonna disappear on your My Math Lab. You cannot uh, work on them anymore to get credit. So you wanna make sure you get everything done be, before this deadline, okay? Now, again, remember you have to do homework first uh, and get 90% in order to do the quiz. And you have to do all the quiz first in order to do the exam, okay? Now, same thing happens for part two and part three, okay? Now, for part three, it's a little bit more busier because you got uh, exam three and final both in the last week. Uh, but other than that, it's the same, okay? I hope this is clear, and if you don't understand what's uh, uh, the meaning of those, uh, please let me know, okay? Second part we want to do is actually uh, uh, my math lab, right? This is the main thing for this class. So again, let, let me share the screen with you again. Okay, uh, again, if you look at this uh, class page, right? Remember, you can go to my math lab by uh, go uh, clicking on the, uh, under course tools, Pearson My Math Lab and Mastering. Okay, if you click on that, hold on one second. Okay. Oh, okay, here, here we go, okay. There are a bunch of things here, but this is the one that we need, okay. It's called My Math Lab Course Home, okay. Now in this class, 99% of the time, uh, you, you, you're gonna go to my, you're gonna use My Math Lab. So this is very, very important for you, okay. So if you click on the Course Home, uh, you, you, you'll be bring, uh, brought to this uh, My last Math Lab page, okay. So this, this is gonna pump up a new tab and then you're here, okay? So this is the course home right here, okay? I mean, when you get to my math lab, you'll see this course, okay? Um, and this is just tell you some like, a, there's a calendar and then there's a, something that what you need to do next. And then this is this textbook and then uh, overall score, you have, we're, we're, we're not doing anything yet, so there's zero. Now you see a similar page like this, okay? Now, as I said, in this class, there's a four parts. Remember the four parts of material you need to know. I mean, you need to do. First step in lecture, homework, quiz, and uh, exam. Okay. Now, what's the what's the deal? Uh, firstly, uh, for the lecture, right? How do you get lecture? Okay. Now, as I said, there's a. I give you a short video. I'm gonna uh, post the video links on Blackboard, and there's uh, syllabus and information. Okay. Now. Uh, I'm gonna give you a short video for each chapter. Basically, this is an overview for the chapter, but this does not include everything you need in chapter, okay? Now, after you read that, uh, watch that video, uh, you either read this book, okay? Or there's some, uh, there's a, there's some online videos right here that you can, you can do, okay? Let me show you where it is, okay? There's a one uh, item called chapter contents, okay, right here. If you click on that, okay, it brings you to a, uh, uh, the, 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 okay, uh, all the information we have. If you click on chapter one, okay. Actually, we're gonna start from chapter two. So click on chapter two here, okay. Uh, see, there's three, uh, I mean, there's a, okay, there's a, a e-text resource, okay. So if you click on this, view chapter opener, uh, this actually brings you to the ebook that you have, which is equivalent to this uh, book on paper. <clears throat> Okay, it takes a little bit, okay, to load, okay. Okay, 
here we go. See, this is the first page of, of the two, second chapter, and uh, you you can you can page it, go go further to the next page. And this is one way to learn. Is like just read read like page by page. Okay. I I think uh, uh, reading is really really important to uh, a tool to learn. So this is one thing I would recommend you guys. If someone would like to learn by reading, this is a great. Okay. Now see, there's everything here. These old chapters. And uh, you feel free. Okay, I have to. Sorry. Uh, feel free to go through each one of them, <clears throat> and uh, click on each one of them. You'll see the basically table of contents uh, in there and everything. They're like this, right? The table of contents. Okay. Okay. Now another way to learn. If you don't like to read a book, okay. Another way to learn is to 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 do the uh, uh, video. First, you need to go to uh, again to uh, chapter content. And then uh, click on that, and then let's take chapter two as a demo. So, uh, if you go to specific sections, or it's it's called units in the in the book. Uh, if you click on this, you you see there's a section lecture video, right? Same thing, section lecture video. Okay. Now, uh, you click on section lecture video, uh, you 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 get this uh, video uh, given by a nice lady. <coughs> unit analysis. Now if I tell you that I have 10, your question to me should be 10 of what? Because when we're dealing with units, we're always looking at numbers and the unit to which they're associated. Six times so they, they work out multiply six problem. months times the thirty two hundred dollars per month. Anyway you got the so idea. Again the word of is indicating the multiple uh, certainly there's a plus minus of doing either way. The advantage about uh, the book is you can uh, kind of control your pace by yourself. If there's some material you feel like uh, you're really familiar with, you can read it really fast. If some material you don't understand, you have a read, you can read really slow. Well, when you're watching the video, it's kind of determined by the instructor in the video. Uh, she uh, basically she talking about everything the same pace, so it, it may feel like a little bit boring to to watch it. But I mean, some people prefer to uh, learn from videos. So I recommend, strongly recommend to do either reading or watching videos, or whatever you prefer. Okay? Now it's going to take, take some time, but it's very, very important. That's why, I mean, that's how you learn because we're not doing a in-classroom uh, course, right? That means I cannot teach you stuff lecture by lecture. So you have to either read the book or watch that, those videos by yourself. Okay? Now I'm trying to help you by giving you a video of like an overall review of this chapter, but that is just like over overview, right? It cannot uh, replace those uh, specific materials and details in those videos or in the book. Okay. Okay. Now let's get back to uh, uh, to the uh, blackboard. I mean, uh, to my math lab again. So here. Okay, this is just the, the, okay, let's go back to the main menu, okay. So this is how you do lecture, right? Now, after you take the lecture, you need to do homework, okay. Uh, right now, there's nothing assigned, so there's, uh, there's only orientation here. This, this orientation tells, help you to uh, be good at doing the, uh, using this tool, using my math lab to do homework and quiz and test, okay. So uh, do this one before uh, the first uh, class, okay, before the first week, okay. Now, uh, for homework, you have, you can have, you can try it infinite time with infinite, uh, I mean, numbers uh, of try, okay? Like, like, for example, right, let me click on Oriental, right? Uh, and then uh, let, let's just try it. Let, let me show you where it, it looks like, okay? Okay, see, this is how it looks like uh, in this case. If you want to go go to a specific question, like uh, this, this is a demonstration, and then there's a this specific. This is going to be the same thing you do when you have a like a you actually do homework. See, you read the question and you uh, try to answer the question. Okay, uh, and then if you there's more, just see can continue for more. Okay, now you can try a uh, follow instruction. Now you need any help, you can click on here. Question help. Uh, help me to solve it. Uh, ask my instructor. If you click on this. It, you're gonna basically it send me an email about your question, okay? Or you can just use this uh, tool from my math lab to help, okay? 
Okay, now after you finish your homework and get 90% out of your homework, okay, you can go to do a quiz okay, uh, uh, of this class. Okay, uh, now right now there's nothing po posted yet. There's a bunch of those uh, pre test, uh, post test review quiz. These are not what I gave. Okay, you if you want, you can do them, but they, they do not count as part of your grade. Uh, you see the actual uh, uh, quiz uh, showing up. Uh, on Monday, on Monday morning. Okay? So uh, the difference between quiz and homework is a quiz, quiz is kind of like homework. The only difference is you can only try it once. There's only one attempt you can make. Okay? So if you, I mean, whatever you do, that is the only attempt. You cannot do it again. Okay? And to do the quiz, you have to do the, get the homework, uh, get like 90% or more on homework. Okay? Uh, keep that in mind. Okay? And, uh, only that you can do the quiz, okay? Now quiz itself certainly also count as a point, okay? Maybe let me show you where the quiz are. I mean, uh, uh, let's see, go back here and uh, let me uh, uh, move to the menu view, okay? These are the view that I can, only me can see it, okay? As you can see, right? For each unit, we have homework, and there's a start date and due date, and then uh, we have, uh, uh, we, we also have a quiz and test. For each unit, basically, we have quiz. Okay. So just keep in mind, you have to get 90% in the homework of the corresponding unit in order to do the quiz, okay? And you can only attempt the quiz once, once, okay? Uh, without time limit, you can do it like one hour, two hours, okay, if you want to, okay? But there's, you can only do it once, and you get whatever score uh, out of that one attempt, okay? Now, after bunch of quizzes, uh, we have three, as I said, we have three exams, so, uh, if you remember this uh, syllabus here, okay. See, at the end of each part, we have one exam. Okay, exam one, exam two, exam three. So you can only take the exam if you, after you finish all the quiz here. Okay. See, for example, if you want to take exam one, you have to finish all the quiz in one, in these uh, totally eleven units. Okay, and then you can take exam one. Now, for the exam, you can only take it once, okay, one attempt. And there's a time limit as well. It's 90 minutes. Okay, you should have plenty of time to finish it, uh, but there's a still a time limit. Okay, 90 minutes. So you get whatever score you get out of this one attempt. Okay, keep that in mind. This is really like an actual exam. Okay, and certainly, you you understand you cannot ask help for quiz and exam. You have to do it by yourself. Okay, now if you want, you can uh, you can you can use the book as a reference or whatever to. Uh, I mean, to help you, if you need any formula or anything, but you cannot get help, basically, okay? Uh, okay, let's go back to the homework page, okay? Uh, okay, this, this is basically three things that works. Homework, I mean, how the homework, quiz, and, and the exam works, okay? Plus the lecture you had before that, this complete the whole study process, okay? Now, in the end, we'll have a final exam, okay? Final exam, and... Uh, uh, in the last week, basically, okay? Uh, you can only take the final exam after you take exam one, two, and three. So all of these are, I mean, like, cause that you have to do something in order to do something else. So uh, the best way to get out of your uh, grades is to do every single step, okay? Homework, and then quiz, and then exam, and final exam, okay? And uh, the final exam, the same rule as the exam, you can only attempt it once, and then you have uh, 120 minutes to do the uh, exam, okay? Okay, now uh, these take care of this and this, okay? What is study plan, okay? This is just something that my math lab designed automatically for you to help you to, to make progress in this uh, class. You can choose either to work with it or not, okay? We're not giving any credits uh, by uh, doing following the study plan itself, okay? This probably could mean that most of you guys won't, won't care about it, right? Because you're not that great anyway, right? Uh, but it may, actually this thing may be very useful for some of you guys. So uh, uh, I don't recommend it, but uh, I mean, you don't have to do it, but I, I think probably for most of you guys, a lot of you guys, it may make sense to do it, okay? Now the grade book, you get whatever you grade, okay? Uh, whatever grade you have in. Now for now, I haven't really finished everything, so, uh, 
as you can see here, we, we missed one quiz and we missed uh, three tasks here, okay? Now you have 28 homework, uh, 29 here homework here is because you have an orientation homework and then plus 28 uh, ones, okay? Now the first orientation homework, this does not count as great, okay? Now the great part, I haven't really figured out completely, but I, I'm gonna figure out everything later. So uh, you can check your grade later, but uh, in the first week, probably the, the numbers you see probably are not actually the, the grade you got. So uh, maybe wait a little bit till the second week to, to, to check, okay? Now, uh, the chapter content where we talk about, okay, that's how you take your lectures, right? So, and that's all we have, all we need to, for this class, I think. Uh, there's a bunch of other tools and everything, but uh, we don't really need to have them. We don't, we don't really use, use them, okay? And, uh, and that's all we need to know about my math lab. Again, most of the time you work on this class, you work with my math lab. So make sure you understand what I just talked about and you understand how to work with each one of the items. Lecture, homework, quiz, and test, okay? Okay. Uh, now this finished the, the, another another part of this lecture, right? Now the next part is basically the uh, okay. We we've done a blackboard and syllabus, and then we've done a math math lab. So the next part is called uh, the Zoom .us that we want to talk about. Okay. So what is this thing? Okay? It is the online conference tool. Okay. Let me try to okay. So if you type in Zoom .us, okay, you you get to uh, the page. Okay. Uh, now, you, you can uh, sign up, it's free. Just use a uh, email and uh, follow the instruction, very easy. Now, if you go to, I mean, in my case, I go to my account. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, I guess I. Okay, the third tool we wanna talk about is the, this uh, video conferencing tool called zoom.us. So let me show you how it worked, okay? So if you go to a, uh, like a web browser, just type in zoom.us, okay? You get to this web page, and you don't, if you don't have an account, you can do a, a, like sign up right here with your email. And if you already have an account, like my, in my case, just click onto my account, okay? So this is the online video conferencing tool, okay? Uh, you can either join the meeting or host the meeting. Okay? In <clears throat> in our case, I'm going to host the meeting. Okay? For each office hour I have, I'm going to host the meeting and wait you guys. Okay? If any of you want to come, just click on join the meeting. And then you need a meeting ID here uh, to join it. Okay? Uh, I'm going to provide you the meeting ID right before the meeting, uh, right before the office hour. I'm going to put it on Blackboard and their uh, syllabus and uh, information, okay? So you, you get this meeting ID and then you enter it here, you click on join, and you, uh, you, you'll see me and we'll see each other. Now more than one student can join the meeting, so uh, we, we can all see each other. If any one of you want to ask a question, I will stay here and answer your question, okay? And then, uh, <clears throat> and we can uh, talk to each other whatever we want, okay? So, <clears throat> Uh, I think it's pretty simple and it work, should work pretty fine. As far as you have a web camera with a, a computer that works, uh, you should be able to do this, okay? It's very easy. And uh, now if you feel like you cannot uh, come to any, any of those office hours, right? And you still want to talk to me face to face, I mean online, right? Uh, you can send me email and we can try to schedule a appointment at a different time. And at that time you just, uh, We'll just uh, meet again, and again, I will I will send you uh, a meeting ID so that you know what it is, and then you just join the meeting, and so we can talk to each other. Okay, uh, but the, I I encourage I strongly encourage you guys to come to those meetings. Okay, uh, even if I don't give you a bonus point uh, for the meetings, but I think it makes sense for you to come and ask me questions. Okay, uh, and that is about uh, the 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 third one. Okay, now we're done with. Uh, the three uh, class tools we talk about uh, Blackboard and syllabus, and we talk about my math lab, and we talk about uh, the zoom.us. And now, certainly, we also use emails, but everybody should know how to use emails, right? So, we don't need to talk about that. Now, uh, before we finish today's uh, video, uh, I want to just discuss three very, very simple questions 
like a broad picture of questions for you to keep in mind, okay, for this class. And uh, let, let's start from uh, the first one, okay. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna pull out the uh, whiteboard. Uh, so, okay, so the first question I want to ask is this. So, um, certainly, right, you're taking a math class, right? You need to know what is mathematics, right? <clears throat> and uh, you we're in the actual classroom. I'm gonna ask you questions and I'm gonna get your response and then I'm gonna talk about your answers, et cetera, et cetera. But for now, right, there's nothing I can do. So I'm gonna assume that some of you guys, you answer it like this, probably like uh, mathematics about numbers, right? About calculation, right? Use a calculator or by hand, like addition, subtraction, multiplication, right? Or taking square or something. And these are, or some of you may think that mathematics is about geometry, right? Like uh, figures, like triangle, uh, square, et cetera, et cetera. These are all right, okay? Uh, but overall, there's also other mathematics that talk about something that not, it can be, it cannot be defined by these uh, features. But in general, I would say mathematics is, is a way of doing a quantitative Uh, reasoning, okay. Okay, this word reasoning can be replaced by thinking if you want to, okay. So uh, essentially, mathematics, consider mathematics as a thinking tool or a language that you use, that is, or uh, like a very handy language, okay. The difference between that tool or language is a lot of other, from other uh, language or tools, is, is a quantitative uh, a tool, okay? Whenever we need to know numbers or something quantitative, uh, we need uh, mathematics, okay? Now in this class, a few branches of mathematics are uh, most important, okay? Firstly, arithmetic, okay? So in this, we talk about numbers, right? Like integers or, real numbers, irrational or irrational numbers, and then, or a fraction, or a percentage, right? And, and we do calculations with those numbers. We do uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and take a square or square root sometimes, right? And this actually is the main focus, I mean, on this lecture, uh, of this uh, class. We're gonna use arithmetics, for all applying on arithmetic for all kinds of pr problems that we have in our everyday life. Now, uh, sometimes we also need a little bit algebra, okay? Now, what is algebra, okay? Uh, instead of talking about numbers, we talk about symbols like X, Y, Z, right? Now, for example, when you solve an equation about X, right, you were talking about algebra, right? Is an algebraic equation with the unknown X, you solve for that X. So we use symbols instead of numbers. Uh, this actually is a little bit more abstract than numbers themselves, but uh, they're not too bad, okay? Consider each symbol represent all possible numbers it can, can be used to represent, okay? We don't need a whole lot of algebra, but sometimes we will talk about, uh, or the book will talk about, uh, a formula of some of doing some calculation. In those formulas, what do you have are essentially those uh, symbols. So you have algebraic formula. Okay, uh, but we don't need to use the enters. I mean, uh, use them a lot. Okay. Now, thirdly, we have geometry. Okay. Uh, this is talk about like figures, like a line or a triangle or a square, right? And we care about the area and area or the parameter, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Now uh, we'll have one chapter about geometry. Okay. Uh, again, some of these are useful for us to to know. Okay. Now finally, we have logic. Okay. So what is logic? Okay. Basically, <clears throat> when you hear an argument, right, you may wonder whether this argument is legitimate. Okay. Right whether it makes sense or not, right? This is, we're talking about logic here. Or sometimes you want to make an argument about something, right? You want to think, right? You want to make a conclusion, right? Uh, now, is this thinking process legitimate or not? Is there some, some holes 
in this process? Does it make sense, right? These are about logic, right? Now, uh, so there are other branches of mathematics uh, as well, uh, but mainly in this class, we're gonna focus on this four, and mainly this one is the, the one that dominating a lot, okay, everything. We're gonna talk about each of these three a little bit, but not much. This one's the main, main subject, okay? Now, in the book, it talks about, uh, in the prologue of the book, okay, and it talks about uh, more details about the different branches. And they also talk about the common misunderstanding about mathematics. Like some people feel like mathematics is super difficult or super abstract or uh, not creative, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Uh, read those. Okay. It's actually a pretty fine reading about like common misunderstanding. It may help you to understand mathematics better. Okay. Again, without understanding better, right? Uh, I mean, it's good to have a correct big picture at the beginning of this class, okay? Now, in terms of a uh, uh, class schedule, right, class material, okay? Let me uh, bring you back to our uh, syllabus here, okay? So look at the syllabus, right? So we have these three different parts, right? See, the first part and the second part, we're talking about different subjects, but they are mainly about arithmetic and a little bit algebra, okay? Now, toward the end, we talk one chapter about geometry and one chapter about logic, okay? Now, uh, from the logic point of view, chapter one is the fundamental for the other, all the other chapters uh, because logic is fundamental for, for us to think. But in terms of course content, chapter one is more difficult than the previous chapters. That's why I put it toward the end of the course instead of at the beginning, okay? And uh, uh, it's, but it's still useful, very useful to know, okay? Does that make sense to you guys? Okay, let's talk about the second question, okay? Again, let me use the, the, the whiteboard, okay? Okay, the second question we have is why mathematics? Okay. Now, you guys are certainly not science major, right? You don't want to use, uh, take mathematics as your career or even take science as your career. Now, why do you still, what the hell are you in this class, right? Now, uh, the answer is pretty simple. Uh, we all need mathematics uh, in our every life, okay? It's, gonna, it's very useful to know how to do this quantitative reasoning or quantitative thinking, okay? Let me give you a couple examples, okay? Firstly, if you care about your personal finance, right? You need mathematics, right? You want to know, you want to figure out how much you, you, you earn, how much you spend, and uh, how much you can save, and then maybe you want to do some investment, maybe you want to get rich, right? Uh, like through time. So you definitely need, because all money is right, they're in numbers, right? So you have no mathematics. Secondly, uh, if you care about, I mean, if you want to buy a lottery, right? Or you want to play like a little bit gambling, a little bit, okay. Uh, and you want to know your odds. I'm not recommending you to do gambling because as we learned during the class, the odds to learn, I mean, to earn money is normally pretty small, right? Um, I mean, uh, but if you want to do it a little bit, right, for fun, right? You want to know exactly like how, what's your chance, what's your probability to to get money, right, uh, versus losing money, right? So certainly you need mathematics, right? Now, thirdly, as, as an example, right, uh, for statistics, right, uh, the presidential election, right? Uh, before each election, there are polls, right? They're saying uh, Donald Trump will win or Hillary Clinton will win with a certain percentage, right, based on their polls. Now, how reliable are those polls, okay? Now, as you probably know, right, a lot of polls before this election was not reliable at all. They all predict Hillary win, but in the end, they Trump won. So, uh, how do you know that whether they're reliable or not? Okay, this is about statistics, right? Again, you need to know mathematics a little bit to understand the basic ideas about this, okay? So, all of these, and then for last example, right, when somebody try to convince you to buy something, right? Maybe from a commercial you watch, right? They, they're telling you that this is a really good product, you have to buy it, right? Does that really make sense for you? Does it really make sense to buy this, right? That that's re relate to the logic, right? The, the, this argument this person had is a legitimate lo logic. Does that make sense or not, right? Uh, again, only after learning about mathematics, about logic, right, you can tell whether it makes sense or not. Or maybe you want to make an argument about yourself, uh, uh, about your career, right? You want to make huge, uh, you want to make decision about your life, right? Does that decision make sense, right? Can you have a legitimate logic argument to back it up, 
right? This kind of stuff, right? Again, it's related to mathematics. So there's a lot of use in mathematics. So uh, hopefully I can convince by the end of uh, this uh, semester that uh, it is useful. Okay, the third question. Uh, how to do well in this class? Again, this is probably the most important question for you, right? You all want to get A in the summer. You, you don't want to base your summer time, uh, get a very low grade or something, right? Now, how to do well? Okay, uh, let me uh, talk, Sharon. Okay, let, let me talk face to face, okay? Uh, most of you guys coming to this class may have this idea that uh, a online class is simple and easy, right? You have totally control when you take lecture, when you do your homework and everything, nobody pushing you at all, right? You, you're, you have your freedom, uh, free, I mean, whatever you wanna do, right? But <clears throat> the truth is a online class is more difficult than a classroom class, okay? Now I talk about this in the, in the syllabus as well. Uh, you can go read that uh, section about uh, the class and the instructor policy, okay? Uh, face it, okay? it is more difficult when you take it online. It's not easier, it's more difficult. Again, third time, okay? It is not easier, it is more difficult. You have to understand this in order to do well in this class. Now, why it is more difficult? There are two main reasons for that. The first reason is about uh, uh, time management, okay? Now, if you go to a classroom class, right, you have to be there for lectures a few times a week, right? And uh, your lecture, your instructor will kind of force you to be there, okay? And then you have the pressure from your classmates and your instructor, feel, you feel like you have to be there. Otherwise, you're, you feel like you're guilty, right? And this kind of pressure actually, in some sense, is good because they help you to manage your time, okay? It's kind of, and also, after class, you have to do your homework, right? Again, you, you, got, you feel this pressure from your classmates and from the instructor, you have to do your homework online, I mean, on time. All of these are not there when you take it online class. You're 100% on yourself. I can try to give you a little bit pressure, but since I'm just a figure in the video, right? You don't feel that much pressure from me. And you don't feel any classmate at all. You just feel like you're taking the class by yourself. So if there's much less pressure, so one easy thing to do, which I strongly recommend, do not do it, okay, is to delay it, okay? Uh, if people are like, maybe I can do it uh, next week, I'm busy this week, I'll do it next week. Don't do that, okay? don't do that, okay? The easiest way to do this class well is to, we have eight weeks in total, right? Well, and we have eight chapters. So do one chapter per week. That's the easiest way to do it. And please do that. Okay? One chap finish one chapter per week. Okay? Each week, do, do the homework and, I mean, do lectures, homework, and quiz of that chapter. Okay. Now remember, after a couple of weeks, we're going to have an uh, exam, right? So you have to do the exam on time as well. Uh, but the easiest way to do it is like one chapter per week. Now, another thing that helps if you can figure out a dedicated time slot for this class. For example, you can make like eight, eight to 10 in the evening, Monday uh, to, through Friday. Totally, it's gonna give you 10 hours uh, to study for this class. If you can do that, that's great, okay? That, that's a great thing. Uh, and when the times come, right, just throw out everything else, just concentrate 100% on this class. That's the best way to work it out, okay? Okay, this is about the time management, okay? Uh, the second thing that's difficult is to uh, get help from this class, okay? Now, if you take a classroom class, right, you can get help, you can ask questions to, to me, to the instructor, right? Either in class or after class, or you can ask questions to your classmates, I can talk to classmates a lot. All of these are gone in the online class. Again, you're kind of isolated by yourself, right? Uh, you don't have your classmate, there with you and you can only see me through those videos. Now, how do you get help? Now, again, two ways. Firstly, write me emails, okay? Whenever you have questions, write me, I mean, th sorry, three ways, okay? Write me emails, that's the first important thing. Okay? Whenever you have questions, get help. Don't stop there, don't look at your homework more than 15 minutes, okay, for one problem, okay? If you get stuck, get help, okay? Either click on the uh, question help button or uh, I mean, from there, you can send me emails. Or when you read the book, you have any questions, send me emails, okay? This is the first way to get help. Second way to get help, okay? 
uh, do the office, come to the uh, meeting in office hours, okay? Come to my meeting in office hours, okay? This is, again, very important, okay? And you can ask me a lot of questions and then you can feel kind of relaxed when you see me and other students there. If you're struggling with in the class, share your feeling with me and your other, your classmates, they can help, okay, do that, okay? If you cannot make those uh, office hours, send me email, we can try to make an appointment so that we can do one-to-one -one with those uh, meetings at different time. Thirdly, use the, uh, use my math lab, okay? On my math lab, there are different tools to help. There, I think there's some tutoring available from uh, my math lab, and there's also, remember this, uh, I just mentioned, that when you do homework, you can do question, help, right? If you click on that, one way to, is to get help from the instructor, but there's also other helps you can get from, uh, from the system itself. So try to take advantage of that, okay? Uh, again, it's very important to get help and to know uh, psychologically, okay? You're not the only person that uh, have difficulty with class. Okay? It's, it's very, very important. Okay? Try, I mean, to do all of these. Okay? And, uh, and I think that's all we want to talk about. Let me think if I miss anything. Uh, try to get help. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, so what we talk about so far in this class, okay. Uh, firstly, we talk about three tools that we use in this class. Blackboard and, and we talk about syllabus in there, okay. And then my math lab, okay. And finally, zoom.us, okay. Those are three tools, main tools we use in the class. You need to know. Secondly, we talk about three basic questions. What is mathematics, right? It's basically a quantitative thinking tool for you. And then why you need mathematics, right? Are you on, in your every life, there's just a lot of cases you just need to know mathematics. And finally, how to do well in this class, right? Basically, you, you have to do one week, I mean, spend one week on in each chapter, okay? That's the best way to do it, okay? And also try to get help from me and by using email and then those uh, online uh, video conferencing tool, okay? Zoom.us, okay? Okay, uh, I'm, again, I apologize for this video. It's a little bit long, but because it's the first class, I have to make sure you guys understand everything. I promise you all the later, we have eight videos to go, uh, each one for each chapter, and I'm gonna make it really short. I mean, uh, like 15 minutes or 20 minutes, okay? Now, uh, uh, the, the last thing is, I'm gonna ask you a question, and you answer this question by sending an email back to me, and then you can get your bonus point, okay? Now, uh, this question has three parts, okay? Tell me first your math background, and secondly, uh, what do you feel about mathematics in general? What's your feeling? You like it? You hate it? Uh, you don't care? Whatever. Okay. And thirdly, what's your favorite math subject? Okay. Now I could ask a fourth question, like what what subject in math you hate? But I figured I better not ask you that question. Uh, so only these three questions. Okay. Uh, what's your uh, math background and how do you feel about math in general? And finally, uh, what's your favorite math subject? Okay, write the answers in the email and send it to me. On the subject line, write um, answers to uh, AM video zero. Okay, this is the AM video zero is the, the basically this, this video we're talking about. Okay, AM stands for applied math. Okay, I think that's all for today, and uh, I look forward to talk to you more during the summer in this eight weeks, and hopefully you guys have a great. Uh, semester and uh, mathematics could be difficult but it's also enjoyable okay hopefully we'll have some fun in the summer okay i'll see you next video